Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about the encoding and decoding of the authorization header. So, when you send a request to a secure get endpoint, you specify the username and password. And this will automatically get converted inside the authorization header where the value is the encrypted version of username and password. So, when you are working with the basic authentication, base64 format is used for encoding and decoding. So, this is the encrypted username and password so there is a website where you can decode and encode the base64 string so this is the encoded version and when i decode it you can see here this is our username and password appended with a special character so in our framework i'm going to add a separate class the job of that separate class is to give me the base64 encoded string when we supply the username and password to it so in the helper, I will add a folder called authentication. And the reason why I'm creating this separate class so that user will have a flexibility to generate the encrypted string based on the username and password. So inside this, I will add a class called base64 string converter. First, I will make this class as public. So inside this, I will add a static method, static void get base64 string. And the argument to this method is username and password. Okay. So as you can see here, first we need to append both username and password along with the special character. So string auth equal to username appended with the special character and then password. So to generate the base64 encoded string for username and password, I'm going to use a method which is coming from the .NET framework. So there is a class called convert. Inside this class, there is a method to base64 string. I'm going to use this method. But as you can see here, the argument to this method is a byte array. So first, we need to convert our string into a byte array and supply that byte array to this method to get the encoded version of this string. So for that, I will use system.text dot utf8 encoding dot utf8 dot get bytes and here i will specify our variable that is auth as you can see here the return type of this method is a byte array so byte in array And here I will use two base 64 string and pass that byte array. And let me return the encoded string. So I need to change the return type of this method to string. Okay. So here, let me comment out this piece of code and I will use this class so first include the namespace dot get base64 string username is admin password is welcome okay string header let me call it as auth header. And as we know that when we are supplying the authorization header, we need to append this basic string with that. So this will be auth header equal to. So this is a constant string which we need to append plus this.
and now we can call this to add the header now this time this will be used okay and I'm going to run this script in a debug mode okay so this is the encoded string as I told you this is the constant string so I need to remove that and when I decode it it's the same username and password so I will continue with the execution so let's say I change the username to admin1 and let me again run this in a debug mode so this is a string and when I decode it okay so this is the username and password continue the execution and as you can see here our script got failed because of the authorization so that's all for this video and thanks for watching